Vantage works with both V-Ray and Corona scenes and is designed for real-time rendering, but also for final production. To get started, I want to show you some features of this software that will blow your mind. Let's start with the Live Link tool. Live Link is a feature that lets you open the currently active 3D's Max scene in Vantage directly and instantly, whether it's built with Corona or V-Ray. Just go to Render Setup, System to start the automatic transfer and opening of the file. In a few seconds or minutes, the scene will be visible inside the Vantage window. What you're seeing now is rendered in real time, and by enabling the pin in the corner of the window, we can keep Vantage always visible in the foreground. This color surrounding the frame, which matches this panel, indicates that the live link is active and the scenes are connected. From this moment on, any change made in 3ds Max will be immediately visible in the Vantage window. Let's imagine we want to place the sun in a specific position. Just to give some context, this is how Corona behaves in the real-time window, and V-Ray has a very similar behavior. And despite using a 24-core CPU, it takes several seconds to update the image. Here instead is what the user experience looks like in Vantage. Of course, we can also move objects and fine-tune materials. See how easy it is to control the glossiness of this parquet in real time. The Vantage interface we are looking at now, meaning Live Link mode, is quite limited, since most operations are managed directly from 3ds Max. And that's precisely the strength of Live Link, controlling the scene from within 3ds Max while having real-time rendering. With the Vantage button, however, the entire scene is exported and opened independently. And here we are in the Vantage standalone interface. As you can see, there are many more tools and features and just a reminder, the image you're looking at here is not a static render, but is always being calculated in real time. To be precise, Vantage is now rendering this image 37 times per second. Alright, now to give you a taste of its potential, I'll show you 5 features that will blow your mind. Let's begin with the material preview. We can use all Cosmos materials and evaluate changes in real time. Here are some parquet materials I particularly like. By dragging the material onto any surface, we can immediately preview the applied map. Let's take this chance, for example, to test out different flooring options. Let's try a few more materials. And finally, we release the mouse button to apply it. Now let's navigate the scene to position near some object and experiment with depth of a field. Obviously, during the course we'll go into detail about all the navigation modes. For now, just take a look at the render speed. Let's set a couple of parameters. And then, simply by moving the focus point, we get immediate feedback on the effect which we can easily fine-tune to achieve the desired result.
Okay, now let's look at what substates are. Starting from this frame, let's move the sun a bit. And turn on some lights to create a new lighting setup. Then we create a specific state for these settings. One for environment, which we'll name sunset. And one for lighting, with the same name. Now all we have to do is switch states to instantly change the atmosphere. Imagine being able to do this with everything, post-production, object positions, lights, and everything can be used interchangeably within an animation. This is something we'll explore in detail during the course, since it's a very powerful feature of Vantage. In all the shots I've used projected shadows to make the composition and lighting more interesting. But in an animation it's essential that these leaves move. Great, just one click here in the environment, wind section, to activate the movement of trees and leaves and adjust the intensity with this slider. All Cosmos objects with the green icon can be animated this way. And it doesn't matter if the movement isn't ultra realistic, yet more and more models with better animation will be added soon. The last feature that I think is a real strength is the editing timeline. Clicking this icon opens a section where we can directly edit the entire animation, including all transitions, and get a global view of the entire project. By clicking play we can watch the edit in real time. Of course, not in high quality, but good enough to share with the clients and colleagues for review. Go to Tools and click Quick Record Viewport to get an MP4 video of the viewport in just a few seconds, perfect for review sessions. Throughout the course we'll cover these and many other options and settings, but the most important thing is that we'll work on a scene from the beginning, creating shots, camera movements, effects and states to control the final edit in the timeline. You'll be amazed by how easily you can create your animation.